It's me, Leopold, your friendly neighborhood rider man. And I am back. Oh yes, you couldn't get rid of me that easily. I am back. And it'll be a cold night in hell before I leave for good. So I'm here, back at you with another video. Here in the library, we do three things. Uh, we create stories that have lasting legacies. We celebrate the American frontier and the Western genre. And we master the art of storytelling. That's what we do here in the library. Welcome. On today's video, we're going to be talking about Dime novels. It's a staple in classic American Western literature. Now, what is a dime novel? Many people may not know what a dime novel is. Well, some of you may have heard of a penny dreadful. Well, if you don't know what a penny dreadful is, I'm going to tell you both what a penny dreadful and a dime novel is. Here we go. <clears throat> a dime novel is American literature, written back in the 1800s by various authors, uh, and they're just quick, easy literature written usually for young men. And it, the, the topics of those dime novels were, were always varied, you know, it would be western characters, seamen, yeah, you know, sailors, detectives, etc. Just basically it's, it's a comic book, but in literature form. Uh, just a short novelette, a dime novel, and, and you bought it for a dime back in the day, hence the name dime novel. Well, A Penny Dreadful is the same thing, but in England, it's the English version of that. Um, and, and those stories usually consisted of vampires and occult things, and it, by no means is it any, l like, it's not a literary giant. You're not going to win Nobel Peace Prize from writing dime novels or Penny Dreadfuls, but they're, they loved them. The kids and young people of the day ate them up. They sold like hotcakes. They were quite successful. So why is a dime novel important? I'll tell you. Dime novels are important because it helped create the folklore that we know and love today of the Western genre. You know, characters like Buffalo Bill had dime novels written about them while they were still alive. And these dime novels would go on to explain how Buffalo Bill you know, did amazing feats, unfeasible acts of heroic grandeur. And, and from those dime novels, kids and young men and, would read them and they would be enveloped in the legend of Buffalo Bill or Wild Hill Bigcock or whatever, whoever you have. And that's what helped forge the American genre as a Western. And as we, you know, as the 19th century rolled around, the, the dime novels kind of faded out of fashion and, and then arose the com the comic book, and rather than rather than focusing on Western characters and such, we focused on superheroes like like Superman, Spider Man, Batman, etc. But they still had those same tropes that the comic books had. So again, a Penny Dreadful or a dime novel is just the precursor to the comic book. It's a small novel that you buy for a dollar. You may be thinking to yourself. Why on earth is Leopold talking about dime novels and penny dreadfuls? One, one reason, I love dime novels. I've read, I've read dozens of them and they're awesome. They're incredible. Second reason is that I am an author. I'm writing my own books and I'm trying to make a career out of writing. And one thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to revive the Western genre, primarily Revive the dime novel. That's what I'm working on. I'm working on 12 dime novels, focusing about 12 different Western characters. I'll wait for your applause, yes. It is awesome! Incredible. Dime novels are a dime a dozen, but they're priceless. I love them. I'm trying to revive them by, by bringing new life into them, by bringing much needed diversity, much needed 
you know, give it the old Frankenstein bolt of lightning. It's alive! <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to do, is revive them. And so currently, right now, I am writing 12 different dime novels, focusing about 12 different Western characters. Now, they're not just typical Western characters. These are Western superheroes. You know, you take a superhero and put it in the Wild West, and that's what I'm writing. And these 12 dime novels are going to be interconnected, interweaving. So one character might be in another character's story. And we might hear mention of a third character. And they're all interconnected. They're all weaved together. I, I'm going to call this the Shepherd's Prophecies. All of these 12 stories interconnect and relate to one another. And it's all thanks to the dime novel. Dime novels shaped the young minds of men from, and, and boys from the 1800s. Well, I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to revive that Western heritage that Americans love. Join me on this journey. In the future, we will be talking more in depth about Shepard's prophecies and what each story contains. Uh, I will show artwork that is attached to these books and I will show you details and glimpses of what this magnificent work is. For the Shepherd's Prophecy will, will unite us. The Shepherd's Prophecies will heal us. Dime novels will bless us. Let us live by the dime novels. Let us live by art. Let us live by the art of storytelling. I am Leopold, and this has been the Library of Leopold. <laughs>